guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music, and I have a brand new product. Thanks to my friends at Honer for sponsoring this video and sending me a brand new type of harmonica that I'm actually really interested in. This is called the Penta Harp, and even right here on the diagram is a little guitar diagram of the blues scale. Now, typically, blues harmonica is what's called cross harp. So if you're playing blues in the key of A, all, all the basic harmonicas are the major scale. So to play blues in A, you actually use a D major harmonica, which shares all the notes of A mixolydian. And then also through bending the notes with your the way you're pointing your embouchure and the airflow, you bend notes to get a full minor pentatonic, but there's a lot of technique involved. Now what Honer just did was they took the harmonica, which this is a basic 10 hole harmonica, just like any regular diatonic harmonica. That's usually the major scale. This has 10 holes. And if you've never played harmonica before, each hole of the harmonica can be blown into or drawn. The air can be sucked through and the little metal reed will hit a note. You get a different note for blowing and a different note for inhaling. So just like a guitar scale, you can climb up the scale. I'll play the A blues scale. <laughs> Um, harmonicas usually don't exist where all the holes line up to that blues scale. It's usually the major scale or uh, a mode of the major scale. What they did with this is they created it so it's only the blues scale. So one cool thing is if you've never played harmonica before and you're playing blues, you're never going to hit a wrong note. It doesn't mean you're going to sound very musical but at least you are only working with the correct notes. So no, no matter what you do anywhere on the harmonica, it's gonna be part of that blue scale. Now I haven't even practiced. I literally just blew into this harmonica before I started this video. So I've never played this type of scale on a harmonica, but I can tell you that the very first hole, if I blow into it, should be the root of the scale and the lowest octave of it. And it is, it's an A note. So then if I inhale on that first hole, it should be the minor third of that scale. And it is. And so forth and so on, we'll hear the scale again. So that's the blue scale. Now I'm not, I don't know how accurate I'm gonna be, but I gonna just blow in number one, then draw in number one, blow in number two, draw in number two, three, four, and et cetera. And it should sound like the scale going up. So, uh, you know, not that accurate, <laughs> out of breath, but you can hear it's only the blues scale. It also has that flat fifth in there, which... So if you land on that note, it's not the strongest note. It needs to be a passing tone. harmonica it's it's all very feel and sound you can't actually visually see how accurate you're being with the air through the hole so that's just all going to be a technique thing that you want to practice and I've never ever played a harmonica that was just the pentatonic scale the harmonica was the first instrument that I just started messing around with that got led to me starting to play guitar and I always played that traditional cross harp style. It had a couple little sweet little bend spots. I haven't even figured that out yet. But if you want to get in 
to harmonica, I recommend trying this pentaharp and just messing around with the blues scale. It's gonna make you a better musician no matter what you do. And also if you're playing blues and you have a little blues line from that scale, you can double that line with this harmonica and not all you have to do is just kind of use your ear and your and your mouth to, to find those spots, but it's never gonna be one of the wrong notes. All the notes are there. So this is the pentaharp, pentaharp from Honer. It's a lot of fun. Uh, once again, shout out to Honer for sponsoring this video and sending this to me for my initial reaction. I think it's it's really fun, really great idea. You guys can check it out as well. Thanks for watching and uh, have a good one. See you later.